Hi, welcome. Let's take a question under interest and see how to solve it. The question says, find the approximate number of these from. So we have A and B. So let's solve A first. So A says we should find the approximate number of these from 15th March 2010 to September 12, 2013. So to solve this, this is how I solve mine, okay? First, you draw a table like this, okay? Now when you draw the table, you title the first part as date, okay? Then the second part as months, and then the third part as days, okay? We want to find approximate number of these, not exact number of these, okay? Approximate. That's why I'm using this procedure as, a, as an easy way to get my answer, okay? So, um, date, month, and what? And days. So let's write the date here. So you write March 15, 2010, okay? Then the ending date also, we write it September 12, 2013. Now, this is what you are going to do. You take 2010. From January 2010 to March, how many months is that? From January 2010 to March is how many months? So January, February, March. Okay, January, February, March. So that's three months, right? So we write three there, okay? Then after the three months, 15 is how many days? 15 is how many days? That's 15 days, right? So we write the 15 also here. Then let's go to the September. Now for the September, what you are going to do is you check the number of months from first, from January 2010 to September 2013. So when we take 2010 first, you know we have 12 months in 2010. And then that's 2011, another 12 months. 2012, 12 months. Then when you come to 2013, 2013 is just up to September. So that's nine months. So we add it to it. So everything will give us what? 45 months. So meaning from January 2010 to September 2013 is 45 months. Okay. Then we have, what day do we have on? Date do we have on September? That's 12, right? So we write the 12 also down. So after writing this, then we are going to find a difference. So the down one minus the top. Okay. So when you take 45 minus 3 for months, okay, 45 months minus 3 months, you get 42 months, isn't it? Then 12 days minus 15 days, you get what? Negative 3 days. That's how you do it. So since we are dealing with approximate number of days, remember, for approximate number of days, we assume that all days are 30. Okay. So since the assumption is that all days are 30, we multiply the difference we've gotten from the months by 30 and add it to the difference of the days. So that would be what? 30 times 42 plus, then we put into brackets the number of days, negative 3. So when you put this on your calculator, 30 times 42, then you add negative 3 to it. It looks like you are subtracting 3 from it. Okay. You get 1,257. So it means there are 1,257 days from March 15th, 2010 to September 12th, 2013 using approximate method, okay? So for the approximate number of days from 15th March 2010 to September 12th, 2013 is 1,257. So let's solve the B also. The B says we should find for from July 25, 2005 to May 25, 2006. Now, to solve this also, draw the table and give the title. So, dates, months, and days. Okay. Now, the starting date is what? July 25, 2010. 2005, right? Sorry. And then the second one is May 25, 2006. Now, this is what you do. From January 2005 to July 2005 is how many months? That is what? Seven months, isn't it? So we write a seven down. Then you have 25 as a date on it. So we write a 25 under the number of days. Then we go to the May. Now, the base is always the starting point. So the 2005 is the base. So we check from January 2005 to May 2006. How many months would that be? So let's say the entire year of 2005 is 12 months. And then when you enter 2006, you have extra five months. So 12 plus five will give you what? 17, isn't it? 
then we have days 25 days on it so we are the 25 down so now we are going to find a difference okay but it should be the down minus the top okay if we were to bring the ending date at the top and then the beginning at the down you'd have take the top minus the down okay but this we are taking down minus top so 17 minus 7 will give you what 10 isn't it and then 25 minus 25 is what zero so to know there is uh, the approximate number of days from july 25 2005 to may 25 2006 then it should be what 30 since approximate assume each month is 30 you multiply 30 by the difference the 10 okay plus the difference in the days which is zero okay so 30 times 10 will give you what 300 isn't it plus zero you get 300 so the approximate number of days from july 25 2005 to may 25 2006 is 300 days okay so that's how to find approximate number of days so you can also try this same question for exact number of days stop it here for now so in the next video we take another question on this topic and see how to solve it thank you